was wearing your shots really well. At the end of the second, he clipped with that hook, and it was like you weren't the same, you know. You were a little emotional after the win. Why? Why this one? I just feel like you know, it's my first mini band. My family was here. I had that reason to fight hard, so. But when the fight's over, of course, you know, those emotions come on. I don't mind crying, so. My dad was here. My dad hadn't been in a fight in a long time. It's a special moment. It's a lot of pressure, too, because I know they're there, but at the end of the day, this was the moment I was needing to set my career to the next level, and from now on, you know, just keep going on and try to find those big fights and get close to that belt. I'm just so proud of Chito Lake. I'm the one that have seen all his career. I've been there since day, day one. I know how, how hard he worked to be here. This opportunity was huge. He achieved one of his dreams. He's gonna be the champ really soon. Listen, the kid's a stud. Yeah. No matter which way you look at it, he's a stud. I, I would never talk negative about the kid because he He's got some balls, man. He really does. And he was trying, and he wanted to win. He thought he could win. He mentally was kept continuing to try to underestimate you. He didn't believe that you could beat him. He didn't believe that. But at the end of the day, beautiful. I love you, buddy. It was amazing. You don't have the bag, right? Just tough, like seeing your friend work so hard and then fall short, like, and then when they get hurt like that, and in hindsight, it's easy to say, like, oh, well, we didn't win, I should have stopped it earlier to save him from all that. But then in the fight, he came out guns blazing in the fifth round. It sucks, man. Yeah, just rough, man. It was rough again. But this is what we do. This is what we love. This is what, you, this is what happens when you get to the top five, top ten, and, you know, all these guys are good. Just you got to catch up, got to close the gap. It sucks because, you know, obviously we got to get right back to it, back to the drawing board, but I'm all jacked up, so it's kind of like still going to need some time, you know, just got to take my time with it, fix the holes, tighten up my defense, and just get right back in there. Congratulations. 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 Success in you. Good job managing this kid house, man. Good job kicking yeah. ass. I'm excited and happy. You know, this past, this, this fight, in my opinion, in my head, is in the past. So now moving forward for what's next, keep working and just keep getting better. It doesn't stop. Fighting doesn't Ever. stop. It's and, and when it does stop, you're never gonna make it because you stop the <laughs> momentum. This is momentum we just picked up. We stop. You gotta be. <laughs> you gotta want it more than life itself. You gotta want it more than everything in your <laughs> being. For God's sake, and that's what you still want. You still want that? You still want that Cheeto? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Hey, Wednesday. I, I might be there Monday. I told everybody I want to be in the UFC at. 16 years old, everybody was laughing. It was like, there's no way. I was like, you will see me there. And, you know, three, four years into training, I was like, how am I gonna make it? There, there, there even no echo exists, but you keep making noise, somebody's gonna hear you, and here I am.